Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this vlog because it's going to be a travel vlog. I feel like I haven't been anywhere really cool in a hot minute and today we are doing our first out-of-state trip of the year. We're going to Mississippi to see Jack's parents. He's from the Hattiesburg area. So last night was a big packing night. Here's the spread on my bed. Oh my goodness. Like I feel like I had to take a giant suitcase because it's still cold over there. It's like still in the 30s, 20s, whatever. And so I wanted to make sure I had my coats, sweaters, long pants, all the things, right? And so I even packed Oakley's little hot pink puffer because of course my baby is coming with us. I'm about to go to work. I'm working about a half day today and then we're leaving around noon to go to LaGuardia. Our flight's not till four, so we have some time. But before we head out, I wanted to share with you guys some of the pieces that I'm bringing on this trip. I left a couple out and then I'm just going to shove them in the suitcase before we leave this afternoon. But a lot of them are from Commence. I literally just got this order in yesterday. Okay. Like it was, it was perfect timing. So I get home from work. I'm about to start packing. I see a package at my door. Commence. Amazing. So I just started shopping with them and I am not even kidding with you guys. Like I am obsessed so far. I ordered three dresses from them and this is one of them. Okay. I like, I'm raving about it and this is why I left it out because I was like I could just show you guys like as I'm wearing it later on in the video But I really just wanted to do a quick haul. So let's go. This is dress number one I just want to show you guys the fabric up close. It is the perfect winter dress I'm talking about like thick like you're not gonna be freezing your butt off if you wear it But a moment for the dress guys I love like a simple basic ribbed knit sweater type dress and this is perfect. I already have it styled with some black boots. I think I'm going to wear this in New Orleans when we go visit my friend David and then I'm going to pair it with um, a big like blue light blue jacket. So I think that'll be like adding a pop of color to it but it is the perfect black. I am obsessed with this material. Like so, so soft. It's the perfect length right above my knees. I am gonna pair this outfit with some sheer tights. I'm gonna get those when I go to Mississippi because for some reason I can't find them. So I don't know what happened in terms of like moving when we came here, but I cannot for the life of me find tights. But amazing, I'm obsessed with outfit number one. This is dress number two. This is a similar style dress, but the material is different. This is more of like a long sleeve t-shirt fitted bodycon kind of material but super soft super stretchy like i for our curvy girls we love stretch for reference i'm not wearing a bra with this because check out the back this is the best part of this dress like i am obsessed with it i love the cutout i think it'll be perfect for date night again you can wrap like a nice sweater around it a scarf like a nice long scarf look same black booties I have paired with and similar fit like right above my knee. But again, check out the stretch. And it has a turtleneck, which I love because especially in the winter, just having your neck warm is everything. So yeah, I'm obsessed with this one as well. I showed Jack this one last night. And he was like, oh, I love that one. Like, please wear this on our next date, blah, blah, blah. Like your man's gonna love it, okay? And this is dress number three. This one is so fun. I don't own any dresses that are like off the shoulder like this. It's one of those like you put it on and then it folds over and I love this, especially for Valentine's Day coming up, guys. Like how cute for a Valentine's Day look. How fun is this one? Another like bodycon, like stretchy, super stretchy, nice ribbed material. I'll do a close up on the arm just so you guys can see it. It's giving that like sweater vibe and another warm, cozy dress, especially as it's so freezing here in New York. So I can't wait to wear all of these dresses and put them to good use. So this is my first time ever shopping with Commence and this has exceeded all my expectations, like amazing material, great prices. Like you guys have to shop them. I'm gonna have a discount code in the description box below as well as links to the three dresses I just tried on. And for reference, the first two black ones, those were uh, larges and this red one, they didn't have it in a large when I was looking for it. So I got it in a medium and I think I could go either way like honestly they're all like stretchy really nice material i think i could have done the black dresses in a medium if i had to or this one in a large and would have been completely fine so if you range between like a medium large kind of like i do you could go either way i'm gonna be living in these and i can't wait to take 
the first dress you guys saw, that's the one that's coming with me to New Orleans and Mississippi, like it's a New Orleans, Mississippi trip. And I'll show you guys later in the video how I'm gonna style it with the sheer tights and the coat. But I just wanted to say thanks to Commence for working with me on this video. I love, love, love these products and I hope you guys try them. Let me know in the comments which one is your fave. not to look Cause I got some good news for you Unexpected surprise Now you're on the hook Guess what I booked Oh, we were in New Orleans two. I feel stressed and depressed I feel stuck in a room It's time we get First stop, already bit into the biscuit But it is Popeyes This is their Something mustard Mardi So Mardi. good, Mardi Gras mustard Yum not healthy, but we're living our best life. Good morning, it is Friday, and we have now waken up and enjoyed our sweet morning. We are all recouped. Oh my goodness, Oakley is trying to get up in the car. <laughs> Hold on. I wanted to show you guys the view because how amazing is this? Like this is the perks of coming to Hattiesburg. This is my favorite part and the sunrises and sunsets are absolutely stunning and incredible. We're on our way to go see Jack's grandmother who lives about like 15-ish minutes away. And she always gets a hoot out of Oakley, so we're bringing the little angel baby. And then we're gonna do lunch downtown, and then we're gonna go hopefully look for some dresses. We uh, told Jack's parents to come along with, and obviously his mom is more excited than his dad, but his dad's like, maybe I'll go get some oysters, which is more up Jack's speed. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I might go with her, I might go get some oysters, I might get sporting good stuff, but. The good thing is if we do that while y'all go dress shopping, they won't have to go with us to go do that. I think it's so funny. Every time we come here, I just think you sound more Southern when we're in Mississippi. Like I'll your 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 accent coaching. pops out a little bit. Like his parents. <laughs> I'll try. Well, yeah, probably, I'll, probably some, I'll probably do some code switching. You got a little code switch going on, but yeah, it's definitely thicker and fuller and I don't know, maybe when we're in New York, it's we're obviously around like that New York kind of accent. Um, and it mellows it out a little bit. I don't feel like I have an accent at all, but my, like I've I noticed because my parents always notice Jack's accent, and a couple of our coworkers notice Jack's accent. And then when I'm here, I'm like, oh my goodness, everyone sounds like that. It's just so funny. So yeah. popping out a little bit more his native his native little accent. You don't like have an accent, but when you're around your family, you say more stuff like almost in a like uh, the Italians. Yeah, and like a parody type way you almost talk like you're from New York or you say I don't mean to Italian do that either. I guess well my family my family absolutely has like the Italian accent like when you hear them you're like whoa okay there's no mistaking your family's accent <laughs> you guys can probably hear we are in Jack's dad's Jeep Pretty he well this loves this thing it's probably really loud so I'm gonna stop vlogging in here sorry in advance if this audio kind of sucks but well I'm gonna take you guys around um for when we go dress shopping and I'll hopefully have some contenders to show you guys or it's just gonna continue me saying wow I am really struggling but I will say thank you guys for all the recommendations I've gotten like loads and loads of comments and people DMing me on Instagram sending me like all their favorite boutiques and like local businesses I mean you guys nailed it so thank you so much I'm trying to look more so in person just so I can try it on and avoid having to like do the whole sending it back and forth and back and forth but if I don't find anything here then I'm going to go back and resort to all of those websites y'all picked out so thank you thank you Okay guys, we are at boutique number one. Jack looked up all these places. Okay, I'm giving him all the credit. It's called the Fly Boutique. We are in West Hattiesburg. Jack's mom and I, we just went to Old Navy, did not get a dress or anything like that, but she got a pair of cute pants and I got um, like three t-shirts that I probably didn't need, but here we are. And um, yeah, I'm praying and hoping that these boutiques will end up having a white dress. Okay, 
this is um, boutique number two and dress number two and I don't think I like this one like it's just too it's too baggy here but like had potential Okay, this could potentially be a yes. Testing out like what it would look like for engagement photos, like with both of us together, like hi, you know. Jack's loving this. He's loving all these moments, but. I hope she never finds the dress because I love dress shopping. <laughs> you don't like it? No. I think it's cute. It works. I like nice little pink nails. So last you guys saw, we may have found a potential winner. So I think I'm going to use that as a sort of backup dress. I think it'll still work really well for a beach setting. But I did remember, because I got an email notification, like a shipping notification saying that you have a dress on the way. Like I ordered one from this company called Selfie Leslie. Never ordered from them. It was one of those, like you just see them on Instagram, whatever. And so here's the dress that I ordered and it's coming Tuesday. So we'll be back in New York when we get this. Um, other Otherwise, I have this, the dress that we got here in Hattiesburg, and I think that'll be a great alternative. I love how like short it is. It's like the perfect length. I like that it was only $25. It was on sale. Their dress was originally 50 bucks. And so that's a bargain right there because all these other dresses online are like $80 plus. So you know me, baller on a budget. And Jack, what'd you think of the dress? Did you like it? Yeah, that one stood out. Um, all <laughs> the ones she out. tried on, you know, they, they were all great dresses, but um, you know, you know when the shoe fits or the dress fits so it was i think that was so far the one that was like okay i could see that she was happy in it i mm -hmm. like the way it looked personally um so i think that that'll be a good fit and you know if she finds one today that she likes then or that becomes plan a then that'll be even better yeah also for the record that's the most i've ever shared any insight on any dress <laughs> so really you're growing about. you're growing on the vlog I'm you're you're <laughs> Um, yeah, so today we just had breakfast with his parents. It's now Saturday. I'm like losing my days. So train of thought. You can go pump gas, baby. <clears throat> We're literally sitting in a um, gas station parking lot. Oh, and we found, oh my God, guys, we found Liquid Death at Ross yesterday on sale. These, okay, this is not an energy drink. I don't know if you guys have heard of these, but it's just sparkling water. And Jack and I are obsessed with these. And yeah, if you, have liquid depth you guys gotta try them so anyways back to what i was saying we're going to a couple more boutiques today just because like there's so many here in the south and like i said in the last vlog like yes the the south has white dresses and i was so so happy about that because like i get it like in the northeast in new york right now like they're there's just no reason to have dresses out. Like, it's just freezing there. There's so much snow. I looked on our ring camera, and, like, we're plowed with snow right now. So it's nice to kind of be away from that for a little bit, but it's still pretty cold here. So we're going to go do a little bit more boutique shopping. Jack's going to go to another, like, Academy Sports thing. or not. A, where are we going? Play it again sports. Play it again sports. My bad. Guys, look how cute this boutique is. Are you kidding me? Like, love this. And... I come in and there's a bunch of white dresses. Okay, guys, I think I actually just found the dress. Very, very pumped about this. So it's Eve Marie's in Hattiesburg on what street? Hardy Street. Hardy Street. Y'all have to check them out. They ship online. Okay, when I'm talking about Southern hospitality, it's them. Okay, so we found a dress in there and it was actually green and I tried it on and one of the nice employees there was like, try this on, it's gonna look so cute. And she's like, we have this in white in another store. And the store owner's husband was like, I'm gonna go get it right now. And he went, drove to the other store, brought the dress back and it was, it was just perfect. Like it's so beachy. I don't think I'm actually gonna show it to you guys. I think I might, keep it for like an element of surprise i think i'm going to show you guys it's really like next in a couple weeks is when the engagement photos are so it's not going to be like i'm going to make you guys wait that that long but yeah i could not believe that this man such a kind guy just went and drove to another store 
for me to just try on a dress to you know we were telling about the whole story like why we were there how how difficult it was for us to like find these find a white dress and how New York they don't have a lot of dresses out all the things all the things I've been telling you guys and they just went above and beyond and the guy um who went and drove the to get the dress he's actually a veteran so he was talking to jack and like jack yeah, made friend. yeah like gave him so much advice and jack got his contact number like it was just so sweet like yeah. everything like we feel like we just made a friend we feel like he just went he just went above and beyond and like we just can't thank him enough like it was just so so nice and yeah that's that southern hospitality right there like that, i that stood out as a uh boutique here and i mean like we went to several not that any of them were bad but some of them it was like yeah hey how's it going come in here it was like do you need help with anything you looking for anything specific and we actually went in and jenna didn't she said no just kind of looking yeah i didn't even say i was looking for white dresses because i had already found that one yesterday and they also organize but... their stuff by like color schemes okay like, most okay i will say most boutiques do that okay, it, well. all the boutiques we went into were all like beautiful but this one was they were just so like generous and like generous with their time i should yeah. say like just they wanted me to leave there with the absolute best option and yeah i'm just i'm feeling loved guys like it, it, was, it, was, a great experience. it was a great experience i'm not a so. boutique guy <laughs> as you can tell but um i got fired up just by how southern hospitality it was but, but jack um, loves the south Okay guys, I promised y'all I'd show you how I style the dress from Commence. It's the same dress. I added some tights. I got these from Old Navy. Quick little buy. And I'm adding a bright blue coat. And Jack is wearing his houndstooth outfit. Oakley doesn't have her outfit on yet, but this was from Express last year. He wore this the night before we got engaged. And he's styling his dad's Ray-Bans. Go! We're officially in New Orleans. Hello. David makes a return to the vlog. Happy Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras. <laughs> so cute. So we just wrapped up at Jack's uncle's place. We hung out with him. Jack's got baby oaks back there. Very dog She's friendly thriving. area. Yeah. She's thriving. Absolutely thriving. So now we are going to an espresso bar because Cherry, Cherry, espresso, Cherry bar. espresso bar. Guys, yeah. his apartment is the cutest thing ever. I'm going to do a little. Do a little we're going to. No, we are. We okay. are. We're going to okay. show you guys. We're going to take you inside <laughs> the bachelor pack. The best um, yeah, so excited to have you back on the vlog. I'm very excited to be here. I'm very excited to have my friend here. Aww. It's her first time in New Orleans. Guys, so. it was so cute. I went into his room and he has a picture of me, him, and Veronica yes. in the corner of it, like still from graduation. Do, do you want to like vlog this? Oh, or? wait, it says service animals only, please. We just go outside. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, <laughs> All right, hold on. We got to situate because we have baby oaks okay guys i got a king cake latte this looks amazing it's like cinnamon caramel all the things david has been uncle david out here with uh oakley I've been babysitting this princess. yeah <laughs> babysitting it's like she was watching you the entire time of like looking inside was. i mean she's attached to you it's amazing i know <laughs> she loves me so much just like jack <laughs> <laughs> So we are now in the streets of New Orleans and uh, David the tour guide, he actually knows a lot of facts about this, not just because he's a reporter at Fox 8, but you know, he knows a lot. I'm he's a Okay, I know, but like you're just like a little history nerd with everything. So we're gonna take you through a little bit of our day in New Orleans, yeah. so let's go. Uh, right now we are walking to Aaron Rose. It's like a little Irish dive bar. Oakley is the star of the show in here. Like everyone loves her. Woo! Drink number one of the stop is a frozen Irish coffee drink. It's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. It's a, it's a marathon, not a race, isn't it's that It's a marathon, it? not a sprint, though. Okay, what do you think? It's great. It's great. And Oakley is an absolute fan favorite here. I can't. Wow, it's so windy, but we have made it to the Mississippi River. This is part of the Grand Tour. This is actually awful. Awesome. Oh, look at Tasmania, though. No. We are enduring frigid. <laughs> Freezing temperatures could dip into the, what, it's 40 now? It's 40. It's 40 and I'm never gonna... Fox 8 reporter David Jones coming at you live here, okay? Yeah, but how cute is this? Check it out. What was that? What just went... <gasps> Guys. <laughs> Wait, that's not my nail. Oh, this is oh, another nail. I have... 
No, 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 this isn't my nail. This was another nail that was in my purse from like another set. We're now approaching Jackson Square. Check it out, my first time here in New Orleans. Oh, wow. There she is, Jackson Square. You love it here? Very iconic. Yeah. Very iconic. Be my girl. I will. Bum, 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 bum. As promised, we are giving you the total little frat pad tour. It's not a frat pad. It's a frat it's pad a frat here pad. in New Orleans, yeah, but I love it. It's so nice in here. Leave, it, leave, leave a comment and say if you think that this is a frat pad. Welcome to my home, to my humble abode. <laughs> We're starting here in the entryway, the foyer. The foyer, the foyer. hello, goodbye. And I just think this is like a really cool little feature. What in the world? Does he have a basement? I'm not wearing shoes, I'm nervous. Yeah, no, I actually haven't seen this part. Don't come in here because you're not wearing shoes. But it's I feel like, like ghosts are in it's here. Like, yeah, no, it's like a little shared storage area, living area, we have a couple couches for sitting and conversing over here. Um, there's the kitchen. My roommate, Jonathan. Jonathan. Jonathan, Jonathan you're on my YouTube vlog. Hi. <laughs> he looks so <laughs> scared. <laughs> oh my um, goodness. And then we have the living room, TV area, sitting, cat tree. Cat tree. Um, how cool is this bar car? Like, yes. okay, David. Well, and okay, the nice is, tree. To be honest with you, 90% of the furnishings and things you see in here are Jonathan. I'm working on my taste. We're getting there. This is mine, though. I like this, right? Here's this mine. This is David's room. This is my room. Nice desk. Home. Check out the Florida. But guys, Florida. the best part about his room, please, please <laughs> wait for this moment. This is David and I on my graduation day from college and our other best friend, Veronica. We were like the trio in college, okay? Like, go Gators, baby. I love that you still have that. That's one, I have it actually in my apartment too, just so you know. It's not on my bedside, but it is on my ladder, which is like my favorite part, one of my favorite parts. we have another shared storage what space. What is this? It was actually- Why do you have so many plants so, in here? So the, oh, my landlord put all the plants inside because it got really, like, really cold. So what do you guys think? Does he live in the frat house or, or what? I think it's like a combination between fratty and classy, you know? Yeah? Um, fratty and if, classy? If I, wanted, if I wanted to be a little fratty, I could get my possum hat on. <laughs> It's covered in possums, and I think this is really cool. Uh, there's a lady um, who does like different, she's a local and she does like different artwork. She made that um, for you? No, well, she made these, like, she sells them. Like, she mm. sells like a bunch of like possum material. Okay. You know, like little possum hats, possum, possum, like, um, pins and all that kind of stuff. So, this is the backyard area. It's actually. Really this is nice the here. pool. We have the seating area, so this is actually, this used to be, um, a like garage so you would actually drive in on the driveway and you could park here um, huh yeah i could see that yeah yeah and then a that, nice but, pool but, too bad it's like kind of cold but this would be freezing. so fun in the in the summer yeah, like this is I... what we do we we throw like because we moved in here um last summer so we threw like little parties like little get togethers getties like with like maybe five or six people that was david's little frat house tour don't his forget little to leave a comment pad. do you think it was a frat house or do you think it was a class let house us know in the comments below but now we are going to dinner we have a late dinner reservation like 8 15 yeah and we're gonna hang out with his um co-worker dylan jack mm -hmm. of course and then we're gonna come back and kind of end the night because we do have an early flight in the morning, but it's been so great hanging with my bestie. You know, you're welcome here anytime. I know, anytime. so sweet. So we're at one of my favorite restaurants in New Orleans, Gree Gree. It's like Gree, a lot Gree. Of, um, authentic food and like a kind of a modern twist. Hey. Uh, appetizer is chicken glizzies. Gizzards. Gizzards. Oh my God, I'm saying this wrong. This, you can tell I don't eat it, but David says it is a must. Love it. And what's really cool is you can like literally watch them make it here. 
Jack's also enjoying the heck out of his. I did not get any. I'm just waiting for my meal, and this is the whole kitchen, like, doing it in front of us. I'm not adventurous when it comes to eating, so I will not be trying it. <laughs> I'm doing everything king cake. It is a king cake daiquiri, one in Nola. I actually celebrate my 21st here on Fat Tuesday. <laughs> really? Yeah. You're strong. Oh my god. This is so strong. It looks prettier. I think it looks prettier than the way it tastes. It's, it's a little bit strong for me. Here is dinner. You got shrimp, shrimp and grits. And I got chicken and dumplings, and same as them. But everyone's just taking pictures of it. It's so funny. It's time. Oh, they put the baby in there. Are you supposed to hide it? You're supposed to hide it, but they yeah, stopped. They, well, don't, they don't hide it anymore. Because choking people. hazard. They'll choke. Oh. oh. All right, guys. This is how we're ending the night with king cake. <laughs> David, tell them why this is the most amazing cake ever. Well, so it's Rouse's brand, and for those of you from Louisiana, it's, you know, some people have very strong feelings either for or great. against Rouse's brand king cakes. I think they're good. Oh, look at that. Strawberry cream cheese. Mmm. Wow. It's um, not your first king cake, though, right? No, it's not my first king cake. It's your second. It's my second. It's, it's so your good. first from New Orleans. Mm, so good. Yeah, I had it in Mississippi though. Mm -hmm. All right, Jenna. So what are your thoughts on New Orleans? Sorry, I'm swallowing my king cake. <laughs> yeah, you know, I really like the city. I think it has a lot of charm to it. I love the homes here. It's like so, not like what's well, not ancient. I use the word charming. Well, yeah, historic. It's historic, yes. Um, yeah, it's an old city. I just, I just love that. I, I love it. It's so pretty. It's so different than the Northeast. Um, Southern charm. You can't beat that. And there's just a lot to do here. Like, there's just so much to do. So you just, like, you can't be bored here, you know? That's a show, Southern Charm. Southern Charm. It's a show filmed in New Orleans. It's a Yeah, so show. to all my NOLA followers, I've had a couple people, like, DM me this week, like, saying welcome to New Orleans. And that was very sweet of you. So mm -hmm. it's very, very great. I enjoyed my time here. Definitely will be back because mm -hmm. David lives here. So. I do. <laughs> that was not even on your face. Wait, but, it wasn't? No, it is. <laughs> well, this is how we're ending our New Orleans chunk of this. Bye, guys. We are back in New York. What a fun trip. It was so great getting to see Jack's family, getting to see David, getting to do my first time ever in New Orleans. But now we are back. We are back to reality, back to the snow here in New York. And yeah, this morning was a lot of like catching up, getting ready for the week. We got in really early. Oakley was such a sweetie on the plane, but now I'm getting into the thick of editing all of this. I usually kind of edit as I go and now I'm having to catch up a bunch. But before I end this vlog and start editing everything, I wanted to show you guys my new order that came in from Azazi. I am working with them on this video um, for bridesmaid dresses. I am on the hunt guys to figure out what the heck colors I want to go, what I'm leaning towards for this 2025 wedding. I feel like I see so many ideas and I change my mind all the time. And yeah, so thank you to Azazi for making this process so much easier. They sent me three dresses and they let me choose the color, the style, all that. And if you don't know what Azazi is, it's a bridal website that offers affordable and high quality bridal gowns, bridesmaid dresses, evening wear, and they also have accessories. The wedding dresses and bridesmaid dresses are size inclusive, made to order, ranging from size zero to 30. And they also have free custom sizing, which is amazing. Azazi has more than 550 styles and more than 80 colors for bridesmaid dresses. And I think I'm leaning towards mixed colors and dress styles for my wedding. And I think I wanna go with like the green color family. I just think Florida, tropical, green. I think it'll be like really cute. Azazi also has a try on program, which is game changer because if you've been following me, trying to figure out what the heck I'm wearing for these engagement photos, you know it's been a struggle. Like for me, I just wanna be able to touch them. I wanna feel them. and Azazi Azazi has a whole program which allows you to order three dresses, you pay $15, and then you can send back the ones you don't love, purchase the one you do love, and you get 10% off that one. So without further ado, let me try on all the dresses. I had Jack record all this. He did a little amazing job recording him, so shout out to him for his video skills. So let's go. So this first dress is called Deandra. It's $99. This is in the eucalyptus color. This one, along with the next two dresses that I'm going to try on, all have padding so you don't have to wear a bra. And they all have the mesh fabric, which I love because it is stretchy and that just makes all the difference. 
This dress is just so clean, so pretty. I'm obsessed with the leg slit as well as the cowl neckline. Up next is the Kamali dress. Again, it's $99 and this is in the color Dusty Sage. It's so pretty on. The front is very similar to the D'Andro with the spaghetti straps and the leg slit, but check out the back because how fun is this? It's such a pretty detail and the dress is so, so comfortable. Again, it has padding, so no need to wear a bra to like ruin the back or anything like that. So again, 10 out of 10, love this one. And last but not least, Least is the Tessa dress. It's $109 and we're back to the eucalyptus color. I think this one may be my favorite just because of the neckline. I am really loving the off the shoulders look for this, but it also comes with straps so you can add them in and it also gives it like another look. So you don't have to have, you can have some of the girls wearing it like off the shoulder or you can have it with the straps. So you kind of get like a two for one dress there. But I personally think I like it the most without the straps. Okay, please let me know in the comments below if you guys like the greens, like the back-to-back -back green. Um, I am still trying to figure out like what I want to do, if this is even the color scheme I want, but it's a good start. And if it does work out, I can give three of those dresses to some of my girls, which I love. And yeah, they're, but also they're really affordable. So like if you are looking for bridesmaid dresses, I mean, Azazi is just a great option. You're not paying more than like $115 for any of the options I just showed you. They have padding. I mean, everything is done for you. And I feel like with heels, like the dresses were a little long on me, but with heels, I think it'd be perfect. And it fit pretty true to size, but they also, again, have the custom sizing options. So like, you really can't mess it up. It's super easy and you can send the ones you don't like back. So just wanted to say thank you to Azazi for working with me on this video. Please, please, please let me know if you guys like this and which one's your favorite. Okay, thank you. I think this is how I'm gonna end this vlog because like I said, I have so much editing to do. Tonight is The Bachelor, the season, season premiere. So going to watch that. Jack's not going to watch that. He's going to be sitting in the corner reading. But anyways, thank you all for following on this vlog. I hope you enjoyed our trip home to Mississippi and getting to explore New Orleans a little bit. Um, I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.